And we're back. <laughs> How's it going? It's been a bit. Uh, I've been busy uh, moving. I'm in my new studio, as you can see this disaster around me. Uh, I'm busy trying to get things squared away. I have painted my green screen. I do have my panel lights up. Uh, but I'm waiting on some things like a, a wire rack for my closet so I can uh, put a bunch of stuff away. I've got stacks of boxes around. I don't have any playing area, so I can't play any games or anything. So I do have some videos lined up to tide us over until I can get there. I have a wire rack on the way, by the way. So when it gets here, we'll be able to get this cleared out and we can start playing some games. In the meantime, uh, I've got some cooking videos and I have a tech time video for you today. Today, we're going to look at an interesting new product I found um, as I was looking for something for backlighting for my TV. For the first time, I'm gonna actually have a TV in my studio. Uh, and I think all of you know by now that I love ambient lighting and I really like backlighting on a TV. I think it provides a lot of depth to the, the TV and the area around it that's really interesting. But one of the things I've always hated about TV backlighting is it's typically static or it may be dynamic but not in sync with the TV itself. But as I was looking for interesting things to use for backlighting for my TV, I ran across this. This is the Govy RGBIC TV backlight. And not only is it an LED string for doing backlighting, but it's got a controller and a camera that will actually monitor the colors on your TV screen and convert them and match them in the backlighting. So basically what you have is a little camera in here that you attach to the front of the TV and it monitors the colors on the screen and reproduces them in the backlighting to sync them up. I would love for this to actually be a thing. Um, it looks like it should be a thing. We're going to find out if it's a thing here right now. All right, so I did go ahead and unbox this. We do have the LED string lights on our reel. We have some supporting uh, brackets for the back of the TV. Um, we have the controller box which also has a 3M sticky thing, so you can put that on the back of the TV. Here's the camera module. Okay, it's a USB. It's got this for mounting 3M on top of the TV, and it sits like this, and it's, it's, it's got a static. Uh, you can't move this, and I don't think you really want it to move because it has to, you know, focus in on the TV very specifically. So, uh, And we have these. These are actually used to calibrate the camera to the TV screen. We'll put these on the screen and then run a calibration um, um, program. All right, well, the first thing we do is we use alcohol prep on the back of the TV, and we run the LED lights around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so this kit was made for a 55 to 65 inch TV. I have a 55 inch TV, so I had to finagle the kit a little bit for the corners. It was a little bit long. As you can see it like up here and up here and then loop it around a little bit. One of the things that's really nice is the LED strip is encased in a silicone so it's not exposed like a lot of the cheaper type strips are. So this is all the way around and then we have the US, oh, so we also have the camera on top. Can you see that? And the camera goes to the USB port and then the LED strip goes to the USB-C port. And then we have a power port here. And forgive the sirens, but I am living in downtown Baltimore now. It is part of daily life. Uh, so we're gonna plug, we're gonna turn the TV around, we're gonna plug this in, and then we have to calibrate it. And then we'll get to test it. So let me get the TV turned around. Next time you'll see me, I think we'll have the uh, uh, we'll, we'll be putting the uh, calibration pads on and we'll go from there. All right, we have powered everything up. We have our calibration pads. We're going to put them on, but it looks like it looks pretty nice. At least it powered up. That's a good sign. It's got some nice default colors. We're going to put the calibration pads on now and I guess we'll follow the instructions for the rest. All 
right, we're going to continue reading our manual now. Um, the next step is we need to uh, not read this in German. We need to read this in English. We need to open the Govy Home app, go to the settings page, tap calibration. Well, I think we need to add the lights in first. Yeah, so the, the next thing we need to do is pair the device with the Govy Home app. So we need to go and install, uh, which we already have done, the Govy Home app from the App Store. Make sure that Bluetooth is on, and then we're going to tap the plus icon. Now, I don't, I don't have my normal stuff hooked up yet, ready to go to make this all fancy. So I'm just going to show you my screen as I do it here. So I open up Govy Home. And there's a plus sign right up here. We're going to touch that. And we're going to enter the model of what we are installing, which is H6199. So we're going to search for H6199. And it says Govy DreamView T1 TV Backlight. We're going to touch that. And Bluetooth should already be on. So we're, we're trying to connect now. And it found it. That is Alexa telex cancel. That's A-L-E-X-A -E telling me she just found the dream view. So we're gonna say done. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi connection successful. Please turn on your indoor lights, then power off the TV. Stick the foam sticker on the screen as indicated above. Do not press with exertion. So we're going to turn the TV off. So give us some instructions. Turn the TV off and put the foam stickers on the screen. So let me turn the TV back off. So now we're going to tap ready right there on the bottom. Tell us where your camera is installed, top or bottom. It's on the top. Confirm. Tell us your light strip installation direction from the perspective of facing the back of the TV, clockwise or counterclockwise. We installed it clockwise. Confirm. Attach each point to the corresponding TV positions according to the picture. So we have this weird little thing. We have to move these things around. Got it? And they're supposed to not cross over. So if you see those little blue dots around the outside, that's what we just dragged to frame the TV. And we're going to say next. All right. So let me, what I want to do is... I'm going to turn this around and we're going to play with this a little bit and see what it does.
white. So I think that's working pretty cool. Um, it's absolutely mimicking the colors on the screen. I was worried a bit because it was getting locked in on that pink, but I think we're fine. So I didn't want to show any movies or anything like that. I don't want to get any copyright strikes, but it is clearly mimicking the screen and backlighting the same color, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. So I'm super duper thrilled about that. You can also hook this up to ALEXA. It did that automatically because I already had my Govy app connected to, to ALEXA and I've attached it to my um, office lights um, um, routines. So whenever I turn my office lights on or off, this will come on as well. So I have the backlighting. I can set them to do fancy things. If I'm not watching TV, I can have it respond to the whatever's on the screen. It's exactly what I wanted. Thrilled to death with this. All right, Govy, you did a good job. I love it. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I think we're going to do a cooking video this weekend. So maybe that'll be special in my new kitchen, nonetheless. All right, we'll see you then. Take it easy.